Yo, what's up everybody? A super fly fat guy. 859 coming at you again. Alright folks, uh, this is kind of an impromptu video. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to jump right into it. So, I haven't really thought out what I was going to say. I'm just going to kind of go with it. We're on my bed right now, and I got the, the big tripod out because... Um, I'm going to need some room. What we're going to do is we're going to go through my bug out bag uh, or what I like to call my just in case bag because that, for me that's what it is. Um, I don't plan on bugging out until I absolutely have to and where I'm bugging out to most of this isn't really going to help me much. This is more so of if I get stranded on the side of the road. But the, the other purpose for this video is uh, for my hardcore preppers out there and uh, survivalists and stuff let me know some things that I need um, but let's go ahead and get into it so I want to show on this side here I did throw in the the Mora knife that I got from uh, uh, Roman Legionnaire 77 um, I have the uh, whatever whatever the hell that's called um, it's you know just for very very light work uh, I have a little shovel, no need to take it out, but I have that. Um, I have a saw. I actually need to to upgrade this because this is a piece of shit, guys. Um, I never, I never really used it, and then when I finally used it, the last one of the last times out, I was out the camp, uh, I think, let's see, I guess I guess it was about a six inch log or so, six or seven inches. Maybe eight, but I doubt it. Um, anyway, I mean, I didn't even get through it, and I got tired of this. And it was it, the blade was really, really wobbly. Uh, a lot of play in the blade. It, it's it really sucks, guys. Um, this is the one, the plastic one here. So with this little button. So uh, I'm gonna have to invest in something a little bit better than this, but it's lightweight. And that's why I got it. Um, and it's also, a, you know, it's a saw. So, if nothing else, I have a saw. But it kind of sucks. I would rather have something a little bit more durable. So, I have that. Um, I threw the, uh, the multi-tool that uh, Jay Punishment sent me. I put that in there because, I mean, you're, you're always going to need a multi-tool. So, let's go ahead and put that back in there. Now, when I get into this uh, inner pocket here, I'm not going to put everything back because it'll just take too damn long. Um, let's see, how did I have everything? Everything fit in here kind of nicely, and I don't remember how I had it. Let's see. All right, can you see over here? I don't know if you can or not, but kind of turn it. This, I only have a couple of things in. Uh, poncho, never actually taken out of here, so I, I think I should do that too. <laughs> See what I'm working with. And then <clears throat> the infamous uh, uh, feminine care products. So, gotta, gotta take care of the ladies. My bitches. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ladies, please don't think that I'm, <laughs> I'm one of those. I'm just playing. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and open this top part here. This bag, guys, if you're interested, this bag is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the stitching is amazing. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and maybe show you the quality. I, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm, I'm sitting, on, you know, I'm sitting next to the tripod, so I don't know if you can really see that. But in here, I mean, it's all very nicely stitched. Um, Double stitch on a lot of places. Uh, straps galore. Um, Pals webbing galore. Or Molly. Whatever the hell that's called. Um, I mean, it, it's a very, very nice uh, bag. It's, uh, I think I paid like right around 50 bucks for it. 40, 47 or 50, somewhere around there. I uh, got it from blacktidetactical.com. Amazing people. Like, I ordered it and I shit you not, I got it like three days later or something like the shipping's amazing very reasonable the, this is their 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 i think one of their biggest packs and it was only 50 bucks 
and it's very good quality for what I need it for. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a soldier. I'm not out there, you know, I don't need all of this big, huge rucksack and stuff. Like, this is perfect for what I need it for. Um, and it was very reasonable, and it was something, basically what I was looking for for a long time, and I found everything I needed in this bag. So, uh, opening, uh, opening, opening it up here, uh, I keep my, um, I, I, this is a uh, dryer lint, so I keep dryer lint in here. These are tissues, and this is a roll of toilet paper that's uh, had the center taken out, and then I, I flattened it and put it in there. They're all in their own separate bags, so we'll just take it out and show you, like, the toilet paper. It's, it's in its own Ziploc bag, okay, and it's tight and sealed. I keep this all up here because it's pretty, uh, you know, if, <laughs> if you need the toilet paper, you don't have time to be fumbling through the bag to find it. You need that shit now. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go ahead and take that off camera here, and I'm just going to kind of uh, grab everything that I have out of it. So, I put the um, cold steel pocket bush, or not pocket bushman, just regular bushman, um, in its sheath, uh, and put it in my bag. So I have that. I have a metal bowl that I haven't used for anything yet, but um, this is kind of what I would plan on cooking in, uh, maybe over a fire or something. Some gloves. Uh, I've used these a bunch of times, actually. They're uh, a friend, uh, or actually my buddy Mike, his girl, works at the IRS, and um, she got me these gloves. They're like rubber tipped and everything. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're not, you know, super, super high quality, but they're pretty good. Um, whatever kind of ear protection this is, I just keep these in here uh, because usually when I'm shooting them out the camp and, you know, I like to keep these on me, so. Um, and then we have this bag, which we will get to in a second. Okay. And I hope, guys, I hope the lighting is good. Um, I don't know. can't really tell because it looks, everything looks like the opposite colors that it should be on the screen because I'm looking up at it. I uh, got some Go Foods, guys. Not too bad. Not too wonderful either, though. Western potato, ch uh, potato chowder. Um, creamy Tuscan pasta. And I had another one, but I really wanted to try what I bought, so I fixed it. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't fantastic. You know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want to live on it forever. But this was a great buy. It was uh, three of these big old packs for um, I think it was like eight bucks. All I paid, all I paid was shipping. So I did that. I have some powdered milk. You never really know, you know, when you're going to need it, and uh, it's a. Uh, it's a great source of, uh, you know, vitamins and things like that. It's for babies, so it's got to be good for me. It's going to make me crap, though, probably. Um, and then down here at the bottom, basically, guys, all we have is, like, a couple towels and then, like, a change of underwear and a couple pairs of socks, fresh socks, and I got them in Ziploc bags. So that's in the bottom of my bag. This thing here, um, let's go ahead and kind of open it. I got it pretty packed full, so I'm just going to kind of pick out everything that I have here. Uh, I don't know if you can see me very well or not. Um, okay, this is the inside of a, an adult diaper. Um, and it's it's basically like dryer lint. It's, uh, it's just fire starter for me, but I got that. It weighs next to nothing, so that's why I, I keep it. Um, this is pretty much all free samples of stuff, and I have uh, I have like one of those kind bars in there, fruit and nut. I have um, a let's see what do I have in here. I have a kind bar and a Nature's Valley Trail Mix fruit and nut, and then this one's kind fruit and nut. I got the fruit and nut because they have the longest shelf life and they have a little mixture of proteins with the nuts in them. And then the rest of this is all, like this is uh, 
some kind of like, like a the hell is it called? Just pull it out instead of fucking stuttering. <laughs> Carnation breakfast essentials. There we go. Wow, way to be a dipshit. <laughs> and then I have a bunch because they were free samples. I have a bunch of these Nef Nest Cafe Tasters Choice um, instant coffees. So I have a bunch of those, okay? And then some tea, in case I need some tea. Uh, you know, a little flavor change, I guess. Um, so I'm going to need a lot of water. And guys, I, I have, now I have the, uh, the life straw that one ugly guy, or I am one ugly guy, sent me. Uh, but I also, I keep uh, a gallon and a half of water in my trunk um, at all times. If I use it, I, f I refill it and put it back. Uh, here we have <laughs> all kinds of things in here. Um, all natural nighttime cough and sleep drink. Uh, emergency, like emergency vitamin C. Um, this stuff. Got the kids. Then I also have the regular thousand milligrams. Um, this was all free samples too, guys. Uh, so I got that. And then in the same pack, I keep other things that are in different baggies, um, but they're in the same bag as that one. Uh, crest, some crest stuff for you know to keep your teeth white. If I'm if I'm stuck or stranded somewhere, I want to be able to keep you know take care of my teeth for a little bit at least. And then some Burt's Bees uh, lotion, day lotion. So I have that in there. Uh, let's see. This right here is shampoos, soaps, conditioners. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that or not. Um, this is bug repellent. And then the rest of this stuff is all free samples of shampoos and, uh, and things like that. Okay. Um, this is somewhat of a... I don't know if you'd call it first aid kit. It's kind of lousy for a first aid kit, but... Um, in this bag, I have rubber gloves, okay, I have triple antibiotic ointment, um, and a bunch of sterile things. If you, if you know what that is, you've been to BW3s way too many times, it's, uh, their sanitary wipes. Got that, got some gauze, uh, band-aids, um, that surgical tape stuff. So that's pretty much what I have for first aid. Gotta have a stick of deodorant, man. You have to have that. Chafing under the arms will suck. Nebo flashlight. Uh, I keep that, and then I keep the batteries separate. Rolled in, or, you know, because this takes three triple A's. So I have three triple A's rolled in masking tape on either side. And then I have two more. So I have two sets here in their own plastic bag on the side of this uh, green bag here. This is going to be one hellaciously long video, but whatever. I'll put it on when I go to bed. Anyway, Nebo flashlight. It's just a backup in case I uh, lose my little uh, Maritac. This one isn't any brighter than the Maritac, but um, it's a little more heavy, heavy duty. And it's got the, uh, the tactical bezel thing here or bevel, or whatever the hell it's called, uh, where I could, uh, you know. <laughs> um, and then, my little brother, my little brother's a fisherman, okay? I'm not a fisherman at all. Actually, I find it extremely boring. But he loves to fish. And uh, he set me up with a little fishing kit. Um, I've got a huge amount of line in here. I've even got line on top, if you can see that. Got a bobber, got hooks, got, uh, I don't, you know, I don't know anything about fishing, but he does, and he's got, like, top of the line of everything, and he actually split up some of his stuff out of his taco box and gave it to me, so I really, really appreciate that, and it, but anyway, I, I definitely keep that in there. I mean, if all else fails, like, maybe I can get some fish. Uh, I keep bare extra strength. Um, I keep a, I think this is 50 feet of nylon rope. Keep that in there. I extra 
or I actually have the um, the elastic cords that I'm going to put from uh, Roman Legionnaires contest and the light my fire or not light my fire Aurora fire starter and this is actually a ferro rod I thought it was one of those um, those one of those uh, fire pistons or whatever the things where you like slam it down in there but it's not it's actually a fire it's a ferro rod and then it's got the um, striker here on the end I'm not going to do it because we're on my bed and I don't I'd kind of like to go to sleep in it tonight. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we got that. Jesus, what are we at? 15 minutes? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. We have a emergency blanket. I keep it in here. Everybody says, oh, you need to take everything out of your bag or everything out of the packaging. It's in this little bitty thing. If I need it, I'm going to take it out. Otherwise, I'm keeping it nice and compact in here, and it helps me organize shit. So keeping that in there. I have wax um, I can melt this down put it on any one of these fire starters and prolong it so I keep wax in there uh, this is from a candle that I just kind of melted down and put in one of these Marlboro Snus tins um, matches that Taddy Boy 2 sent me they are the uh, prolonged extra strength <laughs> those like yeah those really long burning ones okay uh, so I got a whole pack of those um, I have these cheap spork things there's uh, four yeah there's four of them there so I have those I have bug repellent okay keep that um, I was gonna take these out of here and then I just kinda left them in here and now it's winter's coming up on us so I'm just gonna keep them in there hot hands I got uh, six of them so I keep those in one one of these side pockets here um, a couple of these things guys I keep for like just in case kind of deals like um, this is some tubing from my grandma's oxygen machine and she otherwise she just throws it away and I feel like I could repurpose this somehow so I keep a little hank of it in here just in case uh, you never know when you might need it so I keep it I get this piece of shit ferro rod that literally, like, I'll strike this one because it doesn't do anything. Like, there's one spark, two spark. It's a piece of shit. Uh, but I bought it off of Deal Extreme, so what do you expect? My rape whistle with my compass and my thermometer. Uh, Walmart special there. And we're almost done here, guys. I have, holy shit, I got another thing of... Uh, matches this one is I think it's the Coleman one but it's the little bitty matches it's just you know just regular matches but I got another one so I have to put that in there got even more matches waterproof matches uh, Coleman's I um, seen I think Bucks Fan 10 did a review on these and uh, I seen that he did those so I know now that they're not so waterproof <laughs> um I keep some screening in here. Actually, I got this at a wedding. Uh, it was kind of like a one of those table mat or table placements that look all pretty and shit. And it was sitting on this, and I thought that would be really good uh, screening if I had to purify water and get the big shit out. Because I don't know if you can really see that or not, but it's uh, I don't know. It's it's plastic, I guess. But it's uh, just real thin screening. So I put that in there just in case. Um, I have a pair of Heroes soft earplugs. You never know when somebody else is going to be shooting with you. So I have those. That was another free sample. And then to make some things taste better, I got some uh, Popeye's honey. <laughs> Keep that in there in its own little you know bag because... I don't want it going all over the place. Then I have some Campho Phenique, uh, cold sore treatment, but it could be used for a bunch of other things. Um, and then some Neosporin lip treatment because you don't want your uh, your lips going dry while you're out there. Uh, sewing kit. It, it's very basic and it's actually a junky one, but when all else fails, you know, I'll be glad to have this one. So I have that. And then. Um, Okay, I'm going to get in one of these side pockets here. 
Uh, oh shit, I found another thing of chapstick. Uh, this one's Burt Bees. Or Burt's Bees, or whatever. Um, got a little thing of duct tape. I had more, uh, but we used it to um, duct tape a bandage with some neosporin on it to a dog's leg that had uh, had a big cut on it. Um, in here, okay, this is the side pocket here. Um, I keep a garbage bag, a uh, full size, like, th I think it's like 30 gallons maybe, 25, 30 gallons. Some simple cleansing facial wipes and some ponds wet cleaning towelettes uh, I think this is for like feminine care stuff but uh, I'd probably use it to uh, clean my hands off if I needed to <laughs> and then in this front pack here we have another garbage bag um, some sensitive uh, wet wipes and some more wet wipes. Guys, these are all free samples. So that's why I have them. So that is the bug out bag, folks. Uh, 21 minutes into it. Um, that's what I keep, guys. I keep water in my in my trunk. Uh, I have this... Oh! I have this life straw now. Uh, guys, can I take this out of the pack or would it be, the be would it be best to keep it in the pack? Because uh, I feel like it would take up a whole lot less room out of the pack, but if it if it uh, lessens the lifespan of this thing, if I take it out, uh, then I'll just leave it in there. So let me know on that. So I keep water in my trunk. Um, I that's about it. So I mean, uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions of things that I could put in here, let me know because I would be glad to know them. Uh, this has been long enough. I hope you guys make it through the whole thing. I appreciate um, everybody that makes it through the whole thing. And take her easy.